Hey everyone, it's currently 11.56 a.m. Chicago time, 71 degrees. It is still Tuesday, September 10th. Let's get into it, see what the guys, the guys would like for the collective to be aware of. Ooh, what do we have? You are built for this life. Mess them up, mess them up. You're built for this life. You've got some opposition. You're handling your business. You're not playing with people. You're not accepting lies for the truth. Let's get another card. It's a lot of lying going on, man. It's really got me up in my feelings. Some of you could be up in your feelings. You're tired of the BS. You are loved by demons because you have fey blood. So we've got something going on with fey blood. You are not one of them. That was part of the title of the first reading today. You are loved by dark and light forces. You are very unique. There's something about you that can't be replicated. Someone knows this. Here we have sobriety will benefit your life. The angels support you with this effort. So there is someone whose clear thinking might be a little bit blurry. You might have had a conversation, a hard conversation with someone that they need to clean up their act. They're thinking a lot about what you said. Let's get one more. Here we have, you are hated because you are loved by many. So yeah, there is someone that doesn't like how much people love you. Yeah, we have it twice. You are loved, you are loved by many. So a lot of protection surrounds you. Here we have, he loves you more. So someone is, they could even feel like they're out of their depth when it comes to the love that they have for you. They're not really sure what's going on. They're trying to get sober. So this could be someone that you disconnected from who's trying to get sober, trying to see life differently, perhaps even through your eyes. Something about your eyes could be very different, original. You were built for this life. Someone told you you couldn't do something. You came out swinging. Okay. Oh, here we have the veil and healer. So gifted healer came out in the first video today. Healer here is 80 and we've got this veil, which is now in the upright. Last reading, it was sideways, 65 so you were sent here to do exactly what you're doing. Not now, interestingly enough, check this out. Interestingly enough, this is feeling like boxing gloves to me right now. And I'm not just saying that because look, he's got like the boxing shorts on, right? Come on. The veil, breaking through the veil, bake, baking, <laughs> baking these lies into truth, okay? Some of you could be bakers, thinking about starting up a bakery. Maybe you applied for a loan, the loan didn't come through, you were able to build your business anyway. You are here specifically to mess people up, show them what reality is and what reality isn't. You are a healer, but you're not any sort of healer. It's not all rainbows and unicorns and happy faces. You get down. You get down. It's got to do with this fey blood here. Let's get a card for this. You are loved by demons because you have fey. The fey's protect you. Fairy energy coming through. Oh, wow. Thoughts. Thoughts. Earth angel. Jealousy and envy. Actual money. I just love this deck, man. It tickles me so. Thoughts. So again, we've got love throughout this reading. So you're heavy on someone's mind. You're all they think about. They keep shaking their head like, why can't I get the collective get you out of my mind? They're quiet. They could be in hermit mode right now. This is 16, breaks down to a seven. You are this earth angel, but your uh, energy switches, shifts. There's something about you that people really do have to take a pause. You might appear as innocent even, and I'm sure you are, but there is a side to you that if betrayed or stepped on too often, you come out 
fighting. And when you fight, you're still healing. Sometimes your message might be harsh. Maybe this conversation that you had with someone about getting their life together, seeing clearer, doing better was harsh. It was a harsh truth. So that could be your mis mission. You're here to deliver these harsh truths that people simply don't want to hear. Jealousy and envy. The last reading, I specifically talked about the spirit of jealousy and envy. And so wherever you go, no matter how you look, if you could be dressed down, dressed up, it does not matter. You, wherever you go, you incite these feelings from other people. You are indeed this earth angel, a gifted healer who's, who's been sent here to get down. Get down. Something about money. Okay, someone sees you as uh, making something about making money, making it rain. This is number 11. This is that sudden wealth energy that's in the kipper. So something about money, something about your abilities that's generating a new stream of income, new stream of consciousness that's bringing in income, something like that. The bottom we have unbothered. Yes, you are not bothered by people that don't understand you, don't get you, who are stuck in their feelings, green with envy, blocked heart chakras, yada yada, this, that, and the other. You're not bothered by it at all. Sobriety will benefit your life. So there could be something going on with your ascension. You're getting those divine messages from the angels. You feel supported. You feel as if you're being lifted up. Okay, here we have manifestation. It did kind of land face down over here with you are hated because you are loved by many. So this could be someone yet again that's trying to manifest hate to come toward you. Someone who's very envious of the attention that you're receiving effortlessly i don't think for whoever you are you put a lot of effort into gaining attention the attention comes from you carrying yourself as an authentic winged soul okay sobriety will benefit your life uh, 95 is the number for manifestation yeah so some of you could be uh born in 95 59 come out of high school in 95 or 59 sobriety will benefit your life okay everything nothing's nothing's landing here karmic feminine karmic fem manifestation so there is a karmic feminine energy that hates you because you're loved this person is struggling with their sobriety hence why nothing is hitting this card you could have this could be a family member this could be a friend a co-worker someone that you might have said listen you know stop worrying about me worry about what you're doing worry about what you're consuming go walk take a walk something like that whoever this is you might have really had to go in on them they mad they're in their feelings sobriety will benefit your life so something is benefiting your life. There's a change that you've recently made that is benefiting your life, that is enhancing your clairvoyance, your clairsentience, clear mind, third eye, something about clearing out the third eye, something to do with the pituit pituitary, pituitary, I can't say that right, gland, you know, the gland in the brain, somewhere in the brain, <laughs> something about somewhere in the brain. Someone's brain is a little bit twisted and mad. Self-love landed face down, okay? So whoever this is that's having problems with sobriety, it could be uh, a lot of things. Twin flame. So this could be your twin flame that's having problems with sobriety. You could have had a conversation with them. You had a conversation with somebody. Self-love. They're trying to learn how to love themselves, but that love is, is hard, one, because they're too focused on you. So this twin flame could have gotten with the karmic feminine. Now they're trying to manifest themselves out of this relationship. You're not paying attention to them. You're busy taking on your role when it comes to changing the earth, right? Because you're this earth angel. Yes, indeed. 
What's behind Twin Flame? Third party situation, right? See, come on now. What the heck? What the hey? Let's go another round. Let's go another round. So someone wants to go another round with you. They could go to the bars a lot and don't know when to stop with the round. Someone's got an open tab at a bar. They don't, you know, round and round and round. They can't get, they can't get it together. They can't get it together. The veil. Why is the veil here? Okay, this is karma. It's landing on earth angel kind of sideways. So I feel like you've cleared out or you probably did not come here with any karma and someone's mad about that. Why don't you have karma? You understand karma. You understand balance. The universe is always balancing itself out. You understand universal law. Someone wants you to have bad karma. They want to stop your money. You release karma. You are the sweetheart. You're loved by angels and demons and fairies. Okay. The veil. The veil protects you. You've got that armor. Bubble. You're, you're in a bubble. You can't be touched. Your hands are very powerful, strong. Some of you could be boxers or you've recently taken up boxing, moving your body. Animosity. So it's all here. Jealousy and envy. Animosity. So this karmic feel them up in their feelings about how much you're loved they hate it they hate the attention that you're getting they hate how you look they hate how smart you are they hate that you're a healer they hate that you don't have whatever they got going on in their lives that's making them miserable and unable to heal or love themselves the veil 65 okay that kind of faith is in the reverse landing on healer so you are built for this life mess them up right with the f faith in the reverse someone wants to strip you of your faith they want something so devastating to happen to you that you no longer believe in a higher power flying monkey so we got a flying monkey here that is pretending to be a healer, but they are absent of any sort of faith. Huh, very interesting, the veil. Let's try this again. So there's somebody that literally believes that they're on this planet to destroy you. They feel that that's their mission. Message. These landed on the wrist, obsession, message and obsession, clarifying, clarifying the veil, okay? So, I mean, a lot of clarity is coming through. I feel like for most of you, you know who these, uh, these rats are, right? You know they're obsessed with you. You don't care. Look at all that green, green with envy. So a lot of envy, uh, false messages. Someone wants to tell you something again that they feel will destroy your faith. That's not a good idea, but go ahead and try it. Huh. Interesting message. Why is jealousy and envy here? We kind of already know, but let's just see for poops and shiggles what comes out. Poopy pants, whoever this is that's struggling with sobriety, they could have poopy pants. Oopsie. So this is a lot of cards. I'm going to put them back, but let's read them. Third party situation, real love, rich get girl, gal, girl, thief, ice queen, pathway, mature man, health concerns and family so we've got the karmic film already out here you are hated because you are loved by many so this is a third party situation right masquerading as real love so this is some sort of well-known couple pretending that they're real love on the macro level someone who might be rich but they are only rich because they stole their wealth this person is an ice queen okay 
their pathway is leading to some mature man who's got some health concerns or has already led to some mature man. So this karmic femme could be this ice queen, third party, rich girl, thief, broad. This mature man here has got some serious concerns with their health. The family also has some serious concerns with their health. And it could be due to uh, sobriety or lack thereof. All right, let's try this again. Jealousy and envy. Rich guy. So there's a rich guy jealous of you, Earth Angel. They're jealous that you're loved by all sorts of beings that are in the unseen realm and they can't access you. Or there is a rich guy who is uh, el very much elevated in, in life and there's a lot of jealousy and envy surrounding them. This person could be wanting to come toward you. Or this could be the counterpart to the rich girl that we saw in here. And then there's a third party situation. Why is Earth Angel here? Huh. Emotional pain and bondage. So there's that entrapment energy. This is what I was saying about this healer and this faith in reverse. So we've got some psychological manipulation going on. Someone has a plan. Someone could have paid someone to uh, come toward you. I don't, these thoughts are interesting. So we're getting into some nitty gritty stuff here. Let's just put these here. So there is someone in pain about you. Or you could have healed yourself from some sort of emotional pain when it comes to whoever this person might be external to you that was playing a lot of games. Trusted someone you trusted played a lot of games with you. Hmm. What's behind trusted? Distant future. So there's a trusting person coming to you in the distant future. Someone who is already aware of you. This could be the real Slim Shady. This could be the real deal coming through. Someone who will not be jealous and envious of you. Someone who will not compete with you or try to siphon your energy or talk down to you or try to control you. So also, someone does is, yeah, some, yeah, mm-hmm. So see this person who's, who's bound? They're the ones that are in this emotional pain here. They're bound to some sort of karmic, uh, entity attachment thing. Somebody's got their hooks in someone. It's not you. It's not you. Let's get a card for karma. All right. Karma is being clarified by confusion and illusion. So somebody's very confused about some money. Some money that they gained probably illegally and now it's it's being taken away, sucked, sucked back into the air. Something's being sucked back into the air. They're very concerned. Could be this rich dude here. Somebody's about to go broke. It's their karma. Hmm. Behind concern, we have star seed. Yeah, concerned about you, concerned about your money. Mature woman is followed by death magic. So there is a mature woman that is trying to really uh, lay you flat. Someone wants to lay you flat, knock you out, take away your power. Good luck. Good luck with that. Self-love. Why self-love here? Okay, this is landing sideways on manifestation abundance. So, yeah, somebody's doing a heck of a lot to try to manipulate your energy and what they feel like is knock you off your pedestal. Someone feels like you're on a pedestal right now that you don't deserve and it's not fair, yada, yada, yay, but you block this person. They are blocked, blocked, no access. 
99, it's over, it's a wrap. Something's over, you're ended, you're, you've ended something. that You've ended a connection where someone was trying to end you. Self-love. You told someone that you were going to do something. They went behind your back and were like, how they think they're going to be able to make this money doing this? Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Now what? Noisy car. Noisy car. James sitting out there in his car. I don't know what he doing. Somebody's name could be James. Here we have Divine Masculine in the reverse. Landing on self-love that came out flat. So there is some reverse twin flame divine masculine energy that is still behind the curtain. Thinking that they're the Wizard of Oz trying to control your life. But they can't. They're stuck in an illusion. They're stuck in an illusion when it comes to their powers. This person is like... They're super cell. They think that these powers that they have are really going to affect you. So this is like some warlock type of energy coming through. Let's get another card for this divine masculine in the reverse. So someone's coming in and they're really going to try to uh, lower your self-esteem or this person could have already tried that. That's what this feels like. Someone's trying to lower someone's self-esteem. Take them out of their abundance. Self-love, divine masculine in reverse. Poverty, please help. This person needs your help. This divine masculine in reverse, whether you're male or female, they need your help. Abandonment. They feel that you've abandoned them. Yeah, here we are. Twin flame. What the hey, man? Twin flame, priestess. Love spell, evil eye, concern, relationship. Some third party, uh, I don't know who, what the hell is going on here. The priestess, that's you, love spells, you're immune. You have immunity against this evil eye love spell. So somebody's trying to stop you from going into a twin flame with the real Slim Shady. Someone wants you, oh, so this karmic femme who hates you, they want to give you back this divine masculine in the reverse because he's been nothing but trouble. He or she has been nothing but trouble. They spend too much money. They got open tabs at all kinds of bars all over the place. They could like to travel. They have low self-esteem. So this third whatever is trying to sabotage your new beginning by sending this goofy back to you concern relationship they don't want you to be uh connected to your true twin flame love star seed energy and this could this does not have to be an external energy this could be all of your energy you've come into your divine feminine and your divine masculine masculine energy you're operating as a whole Right, And so somebody wants to come in and trick you, trip you up, take you off your path. Come in with some sort of sad, sad, sad story. I didn't mean it. Abandonment. I've been left. Someone's been left. They're in poor health. They don't have money. 37 breaks down to a 10. And for some of you who've had some financial struggle, I've certainly had mine. You're moving out of that energy. Okay, or you're moving into it. You're moving into something with this abundance sideways. Okay, let's get a card for this karmic femme. All right, these are landing sideways. We've got unstable single sexy successful so this very unstable person could be born in 76 or 67 or 90 or you could be born in those years they're mad right you're single you're sexy you're successful and you're hated by unstable persons feels like more than one soulmate 
So we got soulmate, achievement in the upright, Jezebel, conflict. So yeah, Jezebel spirit, someone's been taken over. They are what they are. What's at the bottom here? Book smart but stupid. They're book smart but stupid. Mass exodus of souls at this time. Here we have energy can only be transmuted if you are in control of yourself. Someone doesn't like how you've gained control. You've gained control in the game, in the matrix. You have control of the situation, information, network, mafia. You know these lies that are being told and spread and we replayed. You're not falling for anything. Someone's been telling a lot of lies about you. And then when they don't work, they come back with another lie. And it's the same lie. It's just kind of uh, repurposed. So someone's doing a lot of repurposing when it comes to lies. Why is thoughts here? Someone's thoughts are very blurry with this confusion and illusion. They can't think straight. Mind games fail. Exactly. It's what I said. Psychological manipulation on a mass scale is not working on the collective. You're beyond this. Okay, you're in your hot heart space. You don't have to think about what it means to love. You understand the meaning of true love. It's not something that you have to think about. Mind games fail. Someone's thinking about what what do I need to do now? How do I how do I make this happen when it comes to knocking you down? Let's just do general macro energy and see what else comes out. Okay, we've got newborn landing in the reverse on poverty. So there's someone that really feels abandoned by the entire world. They've been trying to rebirth themselves, restart their ascension by hijacking your energy. It can't be done. Anything else from this deck? Social engineering. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, the, the mind games fail. The social engineering doesn't work on you. You're too sharp. You're too sharp. Rat infestation here. Let's see. Rat infestation. False accusations. Legal experts. So, there's a lot of rats in the legal community that have really been doing the most. It's a part of the massive plan the uh, overtaking of souls that are engineered to heal the planet and so they must depart we saw the mass exodus so there is a mass exodus happening the social engineering will continue uh things are getting a little trickier you know, it's it's what it is. We got the whole AI situation going on. A lot of uh, photos that I'm seeing, the images are just messed up, false light. So a lot of beings are now trapped forever in the false light, false light, false accusations. Someone could have falsely accused you of harming a newborn child. Even this was an attempt to bankrupt you get you caught up in some sort of legal situation where you would have to pay an attorney or someone a whole heck of a lot of money to stay out of prison, to uh, something about your reputation. Someone wants to damage your reputation. Anything else? So there's a legal expert that could be on the news somewhere that's going to have to deal with some false accusations, but they still are a part of the swamp, the false light, they're a rat. So even if the false accusations are found to be false, whoever this legal expert is, they're still a rat. China. China is coming out on newborns in the reverse. I know from the news feed that this region recently stopped adoptions outside of the country. I think specifically with the uh, U.S. So that could be what this is or it could be. Uh, yeah, look. OK, so this is separate, but this is something about 
adoption, newborns being abandoned coming out of this region. So there might be a new scandal coming out with that, that current new situation. Something like that. Okay, I think I'm kind of done here. Let's just see what we get for false light. All right, this is landing on sobriety will benefit your life, relationship, and community. It's sideways. So I feel like this relationship and community has a lot to do with this rat infestation. I know when... Uh, someone wants to stop drinking, it's not always a great idea to hang out with those that like to drink a lot. It kind of opens up that portal, that door to backslide. So someone who was on a sobriety track has done a backslide, this divine masculine in the reverse, because for whatever reason, they can't get out of this relationship or get away from this community change exactly they want to manifest this change specifically with you but they're very much caught up they could be into some sort of s and m with this bondage here yeah so somebody's got some so this karmic film's got something on this divine masculine in reverse that's preventing them from leaving even though they want to send this person to you Something like that. So it's a little convoluted or a lot convoluted. Something's very convoluted. False light. There's something that you have to rethink. Like you've made up your mind about something, but now you're like, okay, I've got more information. Let me just rethink this. It could simply have to do with your business, with how you're taking your business. Some of you are starting a business. How are you going to take it? What direction you're taking it to? Something like that. Do I want to be in this relationship? Do I really want to go out on this date? I have this, that, and the other to do, but I want to enjoy myself. Maybe this person needs healing. Maybe you're coming out of that mode where, you know, you just kind of listen to people, even though you didn't have time or whatever it is. And not to say that that's, there's anything wrong with that. But I feel like you're focusing on yourself right now, whoever you are. And maybe you're feeling a little guilty. Maybe you know that there are some people that could benefit from just like having a conversation, you know. Hmm. Let's get another card for false light thoughts. I honor soulmate achievement okay same thing okay occupation so someone could be in the military we've got high honor occupation here conflict this is global conflict number 55 so there's some major changes on the horizon this Jezebel spirit this could be another person separate to this karmic film Someone tried to make it out to be like you were this Jezebel spirit, that your achievements weren't your own, but that's not the case. This card is in the upright. Soulmates. This is alignment. Something about alignment. So we've got the blue, the crown chakra. We've got the, the violet. No, wait. The blue is the throat chakra. The violet is the crown in the background. High honor. So you've got a high honor soulmate coming in. And there's still some Jezebel in the background. Maybe this high honor soulmate is dealing with this Jezebel energy currently. There's conflict surrounding this person. And so they just watch you from afar. What's this Jezebel chick talking about? Let me see. Jezebel. Super creepy. <laughs> This car came out recently, so there's a super creepy Jezebel type of energy. Huh. So for some of you that have adult children, you could have some sort of Jezebel thing trying to come in and like literally get with your one of your children. 
just to spite you. That's really bizarre, but this this Jezebel is super creepy, okay? Ooh, my. High honor. They can do what they want with their life, but they cannot do what they want with yours. Clarifying high honor. Your high honor. The spirit at this point is not letting anybody near you that is going to diminish your light by any stretch of the ima imagination with this false light and this social engineering. So please make no mistake, there is a new scheme on the horizon coming for the collective yet again, another round. Get ready. Here we go. It's cool. Soulmate. So sacrifice. Soulmate, adult toddler kind of landed with this false light so somebody who truly believes they're your soulmate they're an adult toddler they only hear what they want to hear you can't talk to this person could be this soupy super seepy something seeping sip seepage something about seepage animal sacrifice i said sacrifice it landed here on newborn in the reverse so this could have to do with a sacrifice of newborn calf calves something about newborn calves lambs sacrifice it's in the reverse though so someone tried to do some sort of weird animal sacrifice to uh steal your energy this could be their occupation we did see priestess so this could be some sort of dark priestess energy this jezebel here why is occupation here She resents your beauty. <clears throat> it's landing on Jezebel. Okay. She, no, it's landing on conflict. So she resents you. Oh, come on now. Look at all these cards here and look what came out together. She resents your beauty and intelligence, not your friend. She lied on you to keep this man away. So for some, there's a lot of different things here. Okay. You got a karmic film, third party, snitch situation. This person's a snitch. All right, then we got this Jezebel here. This Jezebel super creepy ass energy here could be the person that lied on you to keep this divine masculine in the reverse away from you. But little did they know this divine masculine in reverse was never for you on this level here, okay? And now they're still resentful, jealous, bitter, envious because you are very beautiful, very intelligent, very loved, and you know who your friends are, okay? And you're, you probably are not trying to make new friends right now. So this could even be some super creepy person trying to get in your energy, wanting to be your friend because they see what you are what you got going on in your life and they want a piece of your, your decadent uh, French silk pie, okay? Trust it because you're trusted. You're trusting work, labor, efforts, false narrative, right? False narrative, intuitive Kev, that intuition, bliss. You're living in your bliss. You, Your mind is clear. You are trusted by many. Yes, indeed. You can't be manipulated. You're not a part of the social engineering program meaning that keeps people stuck in the corrupted, delusional loops of confused values. That was a mouthful. So somebody's got a mouthful of something, honey. I don't know what. Final messages for the collective. Let's get it. Oh, breathe. Archangel Raphael takes self, bleh, several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So there is some sort of transformation happening with you. Energy can only be transmuted if you are in control of yourself. So there's something that you could be pulling into alignment currently, whatever that might be. Breathe easy. Things are happening as they should. Gifts from God are being received. Arch, Archangel Sandifan, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So for some of you who have 
maybe felt a little bit stuck and not too receptive to certain gifts. These gifts are coming from the angels. So breathe, light, open your arms to receive. Anything else? Oh, wow. So we got passion here, divine order, and moon cycle. So I don't know what where we are with the moon cycles currently. Passion, Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love, life, and career. So that could be something with this uh, single, sexy, and successful card. Like maybe you've just recently come into some success, a lot of recognition based on whatever you've been doing passionately. And it could have thrown you off a little bit, but now you're really coming into yourself when it comes to this new existence that you've manifested with the with the help of the angels, the assistance, the protection, the guardianship, something about guardianship. Here's divine order, Archangel Raguel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion. We already have this out, confusion and illusion. I feel like that might be a personal message for me because I keep seeing these YouTube clips that are flat out lies. And I'm like, why is this, why? I don't like, why? Stop lying. There's enough bad stuff out here already. You don't need to make anything up. It's enough out here already to to get whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Look past the illusions and see underlying order. So there's underlying order beneath the chaos. So you don't have to, you know, call people. I don't need to call people out. You don't need to call people out. <laughs> Hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. So your ancestors are working with the angels to renew your passion, to continue you forward on this trajectory. And, you know, trust in the process with this trusted here. Trust that your hard work is paying off, right? False narrative, whatever. Okay, collective, that's what I have. I'll see you guys soon.